Okay, I'm really, really oh. impressed already. <laughs> right, so today, guys, you join me from the driver's seat of a 2017? 2017. 2017 Tesla Model X. It's the 100D. This is the 100D, I think. Yeah, yeah. this is the fastest one. It's. Are you correct in thinking it's the fastest it's one? Not the it's fastest not. One. It's not the fastest one. one. Is it? Is it the P100D is the fastest one. The 100D is just slightly below it. There you Quite go. Like... Uh, this is the 100D, not the P. This is not the P. Ah. This is not the P. So. But we got the D. We've got the D. <laughs> That's the main thing. But Let's check it. Never driven an electric car. Never driven a car like this. So, as an optimistic hot rodder of V8s and stuff. Yeah. Um, seven litre Cadillacs is my jam. Um, apparently that's drive. You is that are, drive? You're driving. Yeah. Right, so there's no start of the car, there's no noise. Very confusing. I don't really understand. Do we want to, as I pull out of this junction, shout out your Instagrams and your YouTube accounts and stuff, guys? Boom. At Craig Neal on there Instagram. In fact, I've been in an, have I been in your video before? You have been in my video hey, before. Then yeah. welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> and Craig TV on Craig YouTube. TV. But you probably know that by now. We knew if that. If you pay attention, you yeah, can watch often. We know that. If we you know. don't, come back. They come back again. Um, in the back. And in the back, I am literally just Tom Kent on Instagram, and then on YouTube, I'm Tom Kent Music. Awesome. You see. And I'm only Not on really. Instagram. And, and I'm, I'm only on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And I'm retro car photographer. Retro awesome. car photography. Where are we going? <laughs> Wherever you want, just right, quickly. Cool. That that's, that's, a, that's a roundabout though, that's a roundabout. Right, so. Straight on. The first thing I'm really, <laughs> I'm um, check. picking up on is it's in low mode. Yeah. We're we going right or left? I go right. 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 Round the roundabout we go. We're now this the, uh, hasn't actually, yeah, we're just uh, adjusting. The ride go, Yeah, why not? You go in, go on. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm really, really oh. impressed already. <laughs> so what was that? V8? Sorry, uh, what about V8? Is that? No, right, I'm trying to convert myself at the moment. The thing is, I I'm all, like... all about noise and the, the feeling of noise while driving a car. And there's no noise. Yeah, like, I can't believe how instant the power yeah. is. Um, I, I don't quite grasp that. Obviously driving a supercharged car, you probably get that same sort of experience, and a newer turboed car, but nothing is the same as that because that was really fast. Would you agree that that was really fast? I, I, I would agree that's very fast. And to bear in mind, I mean, we're also four up. And there is four people in this car, yeah. yeah. And this is actually a six-seater as well, and so you can get SUV. people in the back. This it's not, SUV. that's my thing, right? The next bit is, it's not actually supposed to go fast, no. is it? It's not supposed to be a fast car, but it just is anyway. It just wants to be fast. But that's the thing, right? It does everything. So it's got a boot in the front, because you haven't got an engine. You got a, yeah, it's got a boot in the back, because it's, it's got a boot a in the front. back. It's um, got a frunk, a frunk. <laughs> is that the uh, technical that term for it? Term. Um, steering is very, little bit vague, but we have actually got it on, vague not mode. sport, we've got it on vague <laughs> mode, basically. You can actually adjust the steering, drive it. Um, control, and then sport. Uh, sport. So yeah, there you go, a lot different. Um, we've put been standard through regen. everything, standard. So you're actually doing regenerative braking now. So if I come off the accelerator, it actually, slows it down like a manual car in theory doesn't it it's it's like it's like putting your foot on the brake as soon yeah as it's like the accelerator. So that's it's like actually going... but it's regenerating the batteries to give you more battery yeah more range and stuff, or more which speed is or yeah. madness what i'm actually seeing in front of me this camera will pick it up all of the sort of position of the road and you know where i need to watch out for this side it's 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 like telling me that stuff's there, which is madness. Like, I think that's so cool. With that, rege that regenerative braking is, do you know what I mean? It's Weird, like, isn't it's it? slightly strange. Because you could technically travel everywhere just without by ever charging. Oh well, yeah, you'd ne yeah, you'd never have to touch the brake. As you yeah. come to anywhere, you'd just come off the accelerator and it would, would it stop for you? Yeah, let's you try say? it. Let's you say it stops for you. It. If you've got so, it on autopilot as well, it will literally go to a stop for you in traffic. Really? Yeah. See, the autopilot is something I'm not really prepared for yet. I still want to be in control of the car. Oh, that's, um, a, that's it's, an open space. It's, it's a... It is, isn't it? Any go, right? This thing is so fast! I don't understand how this is so fast. 
Um, that's like the coolest thing ever. The only noise is me squeaking. Yeah, literally the only noise is the car going faster. There's no noise from anything. And the thing I wanted to pick up on is the noise of the wing mirror isn't there and there's no noise in the cabin. It's actually silent. When you go over a bump, yeah, there's going to be noise, you know, from the road and all this business, but it's not like it's amplified and I was expecting that. I was yeah. expecting an amplified everything, but there's nothing. You can actually whisper and it's just fine. It's on itself. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so fast! <laughs> if anything, I'm so impressed. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. You right would never to need to do any neck or shoulder exercises. No, because you're like thrown in the seat constantly. That's so fast. I'm so impressed with how fast it is. That's the bit that sold it for me, though, is the power. The speed. Like, yeah, the actual pace and the power that you get from this is like nothing I've ever felt. Which is really, really, really. I've never felt something like that's ever, that that's that clicky. That's yeah. that yeah. like Immediate. literally like that. That's <laughs> like <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> like <laughs> put your foot down. It's straight away, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's it's, like, it's a light switch. It's it is a light end. switch. Yeah. It's got the bottom end of a diesel and the top end of a petrol. Yeah. So you get torque the whole way through. And it's got the power of a tur a big turbo as well. Like, I'm trying to sort of relay it to stuff that I've driven, but I can't I've relay it to- I've driven a nuclear bomb. Yeah, because that's what this yeah. is on my right foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what this is. It's amazing that they're turning electric cars into fast ones. They're not boring and they're not trying to be, you know, you get the eco side, you get, you know, the, oh, I'm saving the planet side, but you get the, that side <laughs> as well. <laughs> Oh, I'm so impressed. If you carry on, I won't be a lot round yeah, long enough bloody. to see the planet. Yeah, yeah that's it. You'll be in the boot like shivering. Yeah. Like, oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, genuinely so impressed. The amount of tech is Yeah, the a lot tech of that, is so. another level in it, let's be honest. What is it, 11 um, and a half inch screen or something like that? 11 and a half inch <laughs> iPad. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's you know how it is. is. Yeah. Just exaggerated. Yeah, <laughs> but like that's like a massive iPad at your fingertips. You've got YouTube on there so you can watch yourself. I'm assuming when you're parked, you can't really watch yourself while you're driving. Although you, you might want to do that, I'm not really you sure. You can. You can do it, no while way. Driving, yeah. Oh, well there you go guys. You can watch any video <laughs> you like once you are driving this car. That is, that's that's a feat within itself in my books. It's got Spotify built it's in. It's got, you can free. save money on your Spotify bill because it's built in for free for forever, I'm assuming. Another thing I've got to point out is we just put the, obviously we don't know where we are, so we put the Tesla rechargeable thing into yep. the maps and it's taken us there straight away in massive form and it's done <laughs> it instantly. So you can, it says in front of you where to charge it up so you'll never be, far away from knowing where you can charge it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we did a route earlier um, to the Nürburgring, <laughs> obviously, because that's where I'd absolutely wow. love to take one of these, is to the Nürburgring, or to some track, or you know, whatever track. But it told you exactly how far you could go until you charged up, showed you where it would charge up, and then how far again until you actually charge up again and how long your journey would actually be, which is insane to me because you, you try and fight to find a petrol station. Well, this is doing that work for you. It knows full well how far you can go on that on this bit of battery, and it tells you exactly how long you're going to be stood. You know, 20 minutes at a, a service is in France, say. That's long enough for you to go to the toilet and get a cup of coffee and get back in the car, and it's ready to go again. Up charged up to 80, percent which is so something I, I didn't expect. I was expecting that you would be like, right, where's the nearest thing? Oh, I've got to charge it up, but it does all the work for you, and that's guess, that's like, mad to me. The comparison, I guess, is like the fuel. So like. Not only has it worked out how long it takes to get there, but what if you did that on say Google Maps, it wouldn't yeah. tell you where to stop for fuel, when that's going to be. This is telling you how absolutely long. everything. It's telling you how long your journey is actually going to be as a whole, which is mad. Like it's so good that they've even thought about that before it was a problem, because then it's genuinely not a problem, is it? It's always going to be in your best interest to just do that and then let it do its do its thing. It's live traffic as well. So it's yeah, just, everything you know. is live, which is it tells you where the traffic jams are and what's going on. And what I find as well is it's really airy in here, yeah. and it's very simplistic, and it's like an Art Deco masterpiece going down the road. <laughs> like, tell me more about Art Deco your masterpiece. The art, the art Deco on this part here with this part. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so nice and like it's so thought out. Like the materials and this bit of glass is very nice. And, 
It's Wait. just like such a nice place to be, you don't want to get out. I never had you down as an Art Deco guy. It's an Art Deco piece, It's you an see. Art Deco dealer. <laughs> but just remember, this also comes with a bioweapon defense system. Yes, so that is another level. So you could go through Chernobyl and, yep. you know, enjoy. You, need to go up to the right -hand side, yeah. you could go through there and not get any diseases, which would be quite nice. For everyone, because <laughs> you don't want diseases, do you? You don't want nuclear in your mouth. I'm just saying, you don't want nuclear in your mouth, so uh, no, you don't, don't have to have nuclear in well. your mouth. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, job I had shop to. I had to. It's not. It's not right. If I don't do it, I've got to do it. It's a good job we're going to a shopping centre. Okay, can buy some. Yeah, because I think I need it after He's this. <laughs> you know, like you do on your phone, tap the number to yeah. call. Oh, yeah, and call it started calling. Call. Yeah. Exactly. So you it's can put like in where you want to eat or any places you can eat, yeah. Yeah. and it will tell you where to go. And then click call and it will call it. <laughs> yeah. You got any tables? I'm in my Tesla. Table <laughs> 65. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you have an electric charging point? Right, so to finally test out this car for as you know much as I can. I'm now going to take it into a very tight car park. <laughs> this is a big car. Um, this is a big car, and I've owned big cars, but this is another level of big. Ooh. And <laughs> um, it's telling me, it's telling me, no, no, I can do it. It. <laughs> Sick, right. <laughs> Sorry about the lack of commentary there, but uh, I was actually very worried, genuinely worried. Now, I'm not saying the car's big, but it can tell you exactly where everything is, so it's not actually that hard to navigate anywhere, which is a beautiful thing. Very, very impressed with um, actually shows you on sizing. The it well. shows you on the dash exactly what's going on. So although, in reality, I'm a V8 fanboy at heart, this Tesla Model X really, really impressed me. I was so impressed with the way it drove, the way the power delivery came on. It really is an unbelievable feat of engineering. I must admit this is the future in reality for cars. With, you know, certain laws coming in in the future, at least Tesla are actually coming to terms with what's gonna happen and are pushing the boundaries right now in 2017. So if the future in electric cars has the pace and the excitement of these Tesla Model X's, I'm all for it.